from the defensive side, he, he looked composed on the ball. Um, he was winning his headers. Um, you can't really say he, he did much wrong, really. Um, I guess you hope that he gets the opportunity in the next two games and you take it from there. Because I think, you know, from what Atkins said during the week, doesn't he? For next season, I think he's looking at having 22 outfield players. So he wants cover for every position. Um, so from our central defence, you know, assuming it's Davis and Turnbull who are the main defenders next season, there's places there for two others. So, is, you know, is that two others out of Yarny, Bella, Hoon, Hock and Hall? Or is Atkins looking elsewhere for a bit more experience? Um, but, you know, I think, as you mentioned, you know, had Hook and Hall's been there two years, never really been given opportunity. I think he played in one of the Pizza Cup games last season and, and did OK. But the, the, the thing, there's got to be something there because he's played under three managers and all three of them have sent him out on loan and never really given him a chance. Um, which is which is unfortunate because it looked like, you know, given game time, probably him and Bellingham will improve. You know, and whether they make the grade for League Two, not sure, but only time will tell. But unfortunately, I don't think they're going to get the time at Tramia. Well, realistically, it's probably a shootout between the two of them if Adkins wants to keep one around then it's probably a shootout between him and Bellowen for who stays isn't it and that is I mean it's a tough choice to make because we've barely seen either of them um, but what I can imagine is that neither of them will be on particularly much money and therefore when you are trying to slim down your squad surely it is worth keeping one of those two around on the finances that we suspect they're on <coughs> for the eventuality of a crisis like Tramir find themselves in defensively at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I guess come the end of the season, there'll be an awful lot of players elsewhere who are out of contract. And, you know, and it may be that there's a bit more experience. And as the summer drags on, players become more affordable, I guess, as demands will drop because players need clubs. Um to come and sit on the bench, though, that's the thing, isn't it? They're not going to get no, past that, Davis and Turnbull. That's it, you know, because it, providing Davis and Turnbull are fit, they'll they'll play the whole season. And, and whoever the extra two are, they'll only get to see probably the Pizza Cup games. Um, and that's probably about it. Or, you know, the, the local amateur cup competitions. So, um, I guess you're not going to get experience. It is going to be youngsters. Um, but whether Atkins sees enough in... You know, Yarny, Bellahoon, Hock and Hall. I'm not sure, but um, I just think it's a shame with Hock and Hall. You know, he's been there two years, and for whatever reason, he hasn't kicked on. But I guess you see that with lots of youngsters, don't you? Not not every youngster does kick on. Um, you know, it's only one, one in a few, who actually sort of make it. Because you can have the same argument over Hawks when we had him on loan. Uh, what was it? Two and a half years ago, he looked at he was outstanding. But he's another one. He hasn't really kicked on, has he? he his game hasn't developed. Um, which, which again, you know, it's, it's a shame. Is that down to the coaching? Not too sure. I guess that Balahuan and, of course, Hock and Hull will get a chance over the remaining two games of the season because we know that Turnbull's out. We'll see if Yarny or Davis make a return. But hopefully we do see a little bit more of them because there are contracts and futures to play for. Um, let's talk about another individual player who has basically kept Tranmere's season alive, Phil, and that is Rob Apter. The two goals he scores are just wonderful pieces of football. The first one cutting in from the left and uh, sorry, from the right and then finding that bottom corner. The second one running onto the through ball, which is really well played to him, and then slotting in the same corner. The keeper had no chance with either of the finishes and I think he's on to 12 now for the season in all competitions for Tranmere, 11 in the league and one in the FA Cup at Stevenage. Where would Tranmere be without him? Your brother, Nigel, texts me uh, after the game and says he accounts for 12 points that Tranmere have collected this season. Well, if you take those 12 points off Tranmere, they are in serious danger. Yeah, it's not just his that is 12 goals. It's his presence on the in the side as well, isn't it? Because even when he's having a bad day, he's still got two of the opposition players marking him. Um, 
and you know he's he's been absolutely outstanding and certainly yesterday you know the only way we were going to score was through Apta probably creating the opportunity and finishing it himself although to be fair it was Saunders who put him through for, for his second goal but he still had an awful lot to do um with three Newport defenders around him you know he went out wide to the left and still uh, got it across the keeper into the far corner and there were two outstanding finishes weren't they absolutely superb and it was just a pity he didn't get his hat trick he sort of we had a free kick start the second half which was work to him and he kind of mishit it um but you could see start the second half he was desperate to get his hat trick um um and i think yeah he just sort of ran out of energy as the second half went on but um yeah you, you do i would say worry because you know we've got the atkins has got the summer to figure out what he's going to do but this is where you where you've got um up to on the right you know that's probably where you get the best out of saunders because he's, he's a good decoy isn't he because you've got that pace on both sides if you haven't got up to on the right you know saunders won't be effective at all um because he hasn't got the the close ball control that Apta has um so yeah yeah he's been the savior for the season um and i guess probably in the summer he'll get a move elsewhere um and you know he'll have a good career ahead of him 